you. So it detects my face as I approach it. Here's the camera, and then we'll unlock it. Boom. I can go up. For what? What? Where you This integrates with the custom access control system that Asa built. Start picking up his There you go. Elon is insane. Definitely Prince can walk it. Yes, yeah, so I was working on a facial recognition system. The last one that we had was kind of a... Um, that was actually using <clears throat> object detection, which to train an object detecting model was... It took like a long time. So I did some more research and I see that um, for facial detection, what, what the algorithms actually do this time is to analyze the face and find features that it, it, it thinks is important and creates like a, um, they call it embedding, face embeddings. Mm -hmm. So it's just numbers of what, this, what it thinks this face represents. So then it train a um, support vector machine classifier. Mm -hmm. So what would happen? I would, whenever I'm training, it would store the face embeddings. Then when I get new data, like if I point at somebody, somebody's face without, which is not part of training, it would run that through the um, support vector machine to see where it classifies as something or the data. Data. Correct. So I first developed something to gather the training data. Yeah. So here we would put the name, Elden Marks, because I don't think I have anything with that one. So it created a, a directory and it will store all of Elden's face. So this is how much it's taken. You can do like different angles slowly so it doesn't blur up. You see the recognizing Jamel? What it actually did was um, it recognizes all the faces in, in the image, but I did a calculation of the rectangles perimeter. Mm -hmm. So the largest rectangle is what it would take. So the face that is in front, essentially. Mm -hmm. It will stop at 50. Oh, so oh, it's, it's continuously sampling. Yes. Nice. I could stop it, but let's just get 50. Mm -hmm. You can mess with the training data in this training process, right? Anyways, let's just um so train. So this here is taking I already had some um, some data on some other people as well. I don't even see me there. At Alyssa, Asa, Candy, me, Jay, Michael, and Shamar. See, so you so don't like me. <laughs> so it's training on everybody's face. And the good thing with this, with this, um, this approach with the face embeddings is that you don't really need too many images. What I found that to actually get it to be accurate, it's, it'd be good the to have more data, right? Yeah, it's a more practical approach. Yeah. Because the last time you had to sit on the table. My only question now would be um, with like Elden's glasses, like if somebody had something else on their face, how does, does that pose any kind of challenge to the algorithm? Um, probably. Good, so it finished training, it generates a um, disclassifier file, mm -hmm. and then we could run the classifier. At 70% um, confidence, so anything less than 70, we recognize it as unknown. So what I had to do is, so it's two set of models. The model that I just trained, and then there's a face detection model. So it detects the face, then crops it, and then run it through the, the recognition model, right? There we go. Let me see. Nice. Uh-oh. Yeah. I trained it on the not as well. Oh, no, hold on. Where's it? It was unknown just now. Yeah. Where's it? See if you recognize your stuff. <laughs> 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 yeah. I probably didn't get proper data of that. 